Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're going to uncrate the first manufacturing crusader jacket. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump in and tell you about this crusader jacket I am donning today, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It'll only take you a second, and that way you're up to date on all the latest gear coming your way. Speed Addicts is always working hard over here to educate you and give you that first look on new goodies coming in to speedaddicts.com. Also, if you'd like to support us here, you can do so by simply shopping with us. And to do that, there is a link in the description below that'll get you right over to this first manufacturing jacket that we'll be speaking about today. And we really do appreciate your support. Don't spend your money with those corporate monoliths. Support an independent corporation like us here at Speed Addicts. Okay, here we are talking about one of our favorite brand of leathers when it comes to cruisers, V-Twin, Harley Davidson, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna look badass. You don't wanna break the bank. First Manufacturing's got you covered with quality leather products that are really supple, nice pieces. They're gonna run, this one runs 339 to 359, so they're kinda usually in that three to $400 price point. Come with a limited lifetime warranty. They are set up for armor. The Crusader has armor um, pockets in the elbow, shoulders, and back sold separately. So just a nice quality piece from a company that's been around the block, has a lot of different styles, but no matter what piece you pick from first manufacturing, you can count on it being high quality, genuine bovine leather. Now, when it comes to the fit and first manufacturing, they really cover the gambit of sizes. So they're something they never leave anyone out when it comes to sizing. This Crusader is no different. So you're gonna see sizes small all the way up through 5XL at speedaddicts.com. When it comes to their sizing chart, it will be accurate. So stick to the sizing chart and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, for reference here, I am wearing the size large. I'm a 44 inch chest, about 220 pounds and 6'2". And this thing fits me perfect. Let me zip it up so you can see. It's just as snug as I would want a new leather jacket because just like gloves, leather jackets tend to break in after you wear them for a bit. Now you notice the vent that's open in the back, but this fits me pretty damn good. This is like where I would want to be in this jacket. Now, one caveat, if I was gonna run a full suite of armor in this, especially the armor from first that is a little bit bigger, I'm gonna want to size up. I just don't have enough room here, even after it breaks in a bit, to accommodate elbow and shoulder armor. So if you're gonna run armor, you're gonna need to size up. There are other options when it comes to armor. If you want to get a little fancier, you can go with the D30 Ghost Armor, which takes up less room, and I could probably get into the elbows and shoulders of this jacket and maintain this size large. So I hope that helped you when you're gauging the size on the first Crusader jacket. Remember, when you're shopping for gear online, we got you covered here at Speed Addicts with no cost returns. That's right, we're not gonna nickel and dime you on that return shipping. A couple of clicks, you get a free return label, comes back, you get a different size, different color. Whatever you need to do, we make it real easy here, and uh, we're gonna treat you like family, so give it, give us a shot on your next gear purchase. So let's get back to the product at hand. It is a Crusader jacket. It's gonna come in two different colors. At the moment, it's coming in this darker brown color, as well as a lighter tobacco color, like a much light, lighter brown than uh, this one. So there's no black available. The material itself is a 1.3 millimeter drum dyed naked cowhide leather construction throughout. The armor pockets are in the elbow, in the shoulder, as well as a back pocket for a spine protector. All sold separately, I already covered the armor situation with you. You can go with the first manufacturing armor or go with something else if you have a favorite, favorite armorer, shall we say. Let's go over the pockets, the vents, the zippers, the gadgets here. So you have a fair amount of stowage, including concealed carry, but let's start on the outside. So you have kind of just your standard slash wallet pocket up here. And this is big enough to fit a phone or your keys, or a pack of smokes, should you want to partake down low. We have slash pockets here. You can fit your mitts in these, pretty good size, and they are zippered. Some of the first manufacturing jackets have big tassels and different accoutrements hanging off of their zippers. 
These are just kind of more of a straightforward, clean metal hang zipper like that. Now, the cool thing about the Crusader is that it is fully lined. So it's a versatile jacket in that you can get away in those colder temps with the liner in. And it's not just a liner vest, it actually is all the way down the sleeves. So if you yank the liner and open up the ventilation on this, it goes from being a decent cool weather or cold weather jacket to something that can hang in those warmer temps. Now the first ventilation uh, is up here or the intakes. So you have two intake vents that I will open like so. Okay, so you see that big mesh here. And then the rest of the ventilation is located on the rear. So you have not one, but of course the matching set of vents. So this thing can flow quite a bit of air for a leather jacket, which is nice. You also notice when I turn around, it has lots of accordion stretch. They're calling it an action back. So you can easily get to those handlebars, be in a comfortable riding position. The zipper is very straightforward. In the front, we already showed you that. You get a single snap up at the collar, no liner on the collar, just that buttery soft first manufacturing leather. Now let's go back to the inside and check out the storage. So first manufacturing, always keeping it second amendment here. You get not one, but two concealed carry pockets on both the left and the right. They're not gonna leave you lefties out of the equation here. The pockets are identical on both sides. So I'm just gonna show you one here, but they use their bullet snaps here. It's kind of a nice touch. And you're going to bust both of those open and that will reveal the holster inside right here. So you have this elastic holster and whoops, kind of pull that out as to hold a weapon. And then down below, there are actually two more elastic bands that are meant to accommodate up to two uh, magazines there. So that is how the concealed carry storage works on the Crusader. That about does it on this jacket. Good looking, clean jacket, great for HD riders or cafe racer, wherever you're going. Lots of storage, good ventilation, and just very comfortable right out of the box. If you still have questions, Rider Support is always standing by for you at speedaddicts.com where you can talk to a human over the phone, email, or live chat. If you got one of the Crusaders, you know what to do. Sound off in the comment section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.